All right, everybody. Say hello to Jeff. What's up, you two? Hey, what's How up, you doing? two? It's good to be in Denver. Jeff uh, is a fan of the, the vlog and the running videos and uh, is visiting from Arizona. Now, Jeff, how did you find the channel? Do you, I always like to ask, ask that question. Well, I'm always looking for good running motivation. Came across Seth a few months ago, and uh, nice. I can't get enough. I love the daily vlog. <laughs> I love the positiveness. And uh, just happened to be coming out to Denver. Yeah. And I thought it'd be neat to come out and take a run with them. So we're here. We're in the snow. There we go. That's what it's all about, guys. Running motivation, getting out the door, even when it's cold, right? So we're at uh, Washington Park, cruising around the two and a half mile loop and just enjoying uh, the beauty out here. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. This is where, this is where I did the half marathon time trial. Oh, was it? Okay. On the pavement. So. Okay. All right, and I'm, I'm running in the uh, Solomon Ultras today. So decided to pull them out since it's a little snowy and I uh, haven't worn them in a while. So just testing the Solomon Ultras. What are you in, Jeff? I'm in the Hoka Challenger 4s. Nice. And the uh, trail shoe. Yeah. So, and I'm interested, YouTube, in the shields from Nike, I don't know. I, I've heard mixed reviews on how dry they keep your feet, but I am interested. Stay tuned. See if I can't uh, track down a pair today. We'll see. <sighs> What's your name? Nick. Nick? Yeah. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Do you recognize the green hat? <laughs> <laughs> He's got fans all over. We love it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Just met Nick in the park. Hello, Nick. And thank you for watching. So, part of the... Uh, Gives you a little bit more energy response. It's very similar to the boost material that you okay. see in Adidas. Sure so yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the 12 and a half. No, yeah, that looks good, and, man. Uh, yeah, that's very healthy. I'm almost thinking these. Yeah. Jeff's made a decision. Perhaps. I think I'm going with the mock. The mock. Mock. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's the way to go. Yeah. Now, you got, now you gotta run as fast as the mock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> gotta run fast now. <laughs> they feel good? Feel good. Feel good. Yeah. I like now it. Now it's time to get some socks. Yeah, nice. Sock time. <laughs> feel good, run good, baby. Right. Mm. As far as the color goes, yeah. I'm Fun not. Function, function, right? Is that it? This is it, man. Oh, yeah. Right? S silver. That's dope. That's good. That's it's dope. good with me. You're, like the, you're the silver fox now, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Martin. High five. Uh, Boom. Good to see you, my Appreciate man. Appreciate it. Good to meet you, Jeff. Yeah. Cool. You keep awesome. up the good work, okay? Thank you. Appreciate we'll be in touch. It. Runner's roost. You guys have a good it's day, a all right? Place to be. <laughs> <laughs>
Love it. All right. Back at the house, back at the house. Oh my goodness, what a great day. Well, okay, it was a hard day. Uh, let me explain. No more running in today's vlog, no more buying shoes, just talking. We need to talk, you two. We need to talk, all right? It was a hard day. Why was it a hard day? Essentially, if you were up at 5 a.m. this morning when the videos publish, and just so you know, every single day, every single new video is going to publish moving forward at 5 a.m. Mountain Time. That's where I live, Denver. So if you're on the East Coast in New York or in Charlotte or in Miami, that is 7 a.m. for you. If you're in the central time zone, Chicago, St. Louis, uh, somewhere in Arkansas, it's gonna be 6 a.m. and then of course 4 a.m. On the, on the West Coast. If you're in Europe, it's gonna be around lunchtime. I believe London is seven hours ahead of Denver. I could be wrong though. Anyway, or if you're in Asia, there's, you know, we have viewers from Malaysia and I think there's a viewer from China now. So I don't quite know the time zones. Essentially, I just wanna let you know, Every single day, every new video is going to publish at 5 a.m. my time. So that's Denver Mountain Time. Okay, it was a hard day because when today, sorry, when yesterday's video published, essentially what happened was that it published not in HD, so high definition, so beautiful resolution. It published in 360p. 360p. That means it was low resolution and it was uh, grainy and blurry and it did not uh, exemplify, exemplify the beauty of Colorado to its fullest because in yesterday's vlog, you got to go check it out guys, upper right hand corner, please go watch it because it's a great video but a lot of you guys watched it before I was able to wait. I woke up yesterday at 7.30 a.m. and so by the time I woke up, two and a half hours after the video had published, over 300 people had watched the video in 360p resolution, which is very, very low. It's not high quality, it's not good, and it breaks my heart when something happens like that because I wanna take care of you guys, I wanna be here for you, I want to inspire you, and therefore that means bringing you high quality videos. And so, if you watched yesterday's video before, let's say 8 a.m., Go back and watch it again in HD. I think you will appreciate it. In addition, in addition, guys, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. My other camera, not this camera, my other camera, the microphone jack broke yesterday and I didn't know it. And so the audio from yesterday's vlog is not so good. You probably didn't even notice, but it just sounded horrible it sounded bad, especially to a cinematographer's ear. I could notice it, some other people noticed it. I apologize, but now I think we're on track. I have a different camera set up. The microphone is attached. I believe we're okay. Just wanted to clear the air. It's been a hard day on the technical side of YouTube, but guess what? You gotta roll with the punches, just like in training. Like you got it, some days are good, some days are not so good, and you that's okay. It's like. Patience, persistence, and you can achieve anything. You can achieve anything. But I just wanted to be completely transparent with you guys as to why yesterday was a little rough here on YouTube. Setting that aside, setting the negative aside, and focusing on the positive from today. We all have peaks and valleys in this world, right? We all have things that we're dealing with, whether it's with work, with school, with just life in general, like well, maybe your car broke down today. I don't know, hopefully it didn't, but you never know. So we gotta deal with the negatives, we gotta enjoy the positives, right? And so today, Jeff, you saw him, we ran through Washington Park, he is from Arizona. And Jeff found this channel, uh, I think four months ago approximately, and essentially he reached out to me via email and said, hey, I'm coming to Denver, you wanna go for a run? And I was like, yes, let's do this. And both of us, you know, we're both busy, but we made it happen and it was amazing and it's so cool. I know that's like a, a cliche word, but it's it was amazing to connect from Strava to the real world. Strava to the real world. I mean, it happened, it actually happened. And so for, you know, a lot of people harp on social media and, you know, maybe apps in general, but Strava kind of brought us together. YouTube brought Jeff and I to the same location so that we could go for a run together. That's amazing. And speaking of Strava, 
today, we, I this Strava YouTube extravaganza passed 1,000 followers on Strava. And I don't say that to brag. I say that simply to mention that I don't look at you as followers. I look at you as friends. Now listen, I don't know if we'll ever meet in person. There's people all around the world who now follow this YouTube channel and follow me on Strava. And by the way, let's connect below. But the, the hope, the hope, just like today, is that not only can we connect on Strava, but that we can become friends and that we can go for runs together in the real world. Like, I love Strava. It's great to see everyone's training. It's great to see everyone's beautiful photos from their run. But the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's about connecting in the real world, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. So thank you. Shout out to the thousand followers, AKA friends on Strava. I love you. Thanks for being here. And let's keep running together. Let's keep running together. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And of course, the key word of the day is friends. Down below in the comments, if you've made it this far, thank you. I try to do the keyword every single day in order to get the conversation started. Because this channel, yes, I like to film beautiful shots. Yes, I like to try to impart a little bit of wisdom when it comes to running shoes or running gear. And yes, I think I have something to offer when it comes to running training ideas. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about your comments. It's about communicating and sharing ideas on YouTube. And it all happens down below in the comments. So that's why I do the keyword of the day, just so you know. And the question of the day, I actually wrote it out because it's critical. It is a critical question of the day. If there is one question of the day that you should chime in on, it's this one. Now, let me, let me just explain. Essentially, with this question of the day, I'm trying to figure out the future. I'm trying to look to the future. And so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to give you probably eight options to choose from. You are only allowed to choose two options down in the comments. Okay, so here we go. This is the question of the day. What are the top two reasons you watch running videos on YouTube? It doesn't have to just be this channel. It could be any YouTube channel that focuses on running. What are the top two reasons you watch running videos on YouTube? Are you ready? And I'm going to post this question of the day down below. I'll pin it to the top so you can go back and look at these, these options. Number one, nutrition. Number two, racing vlogs, racing recap videos. Number three, running motivation. Number four, gear reviews. Now that could be watch, that could be clothing, that could be hats, sunglasses. Number five, running shoe reviews. So that's a different than number four. I, I split them up. Number six, training plans. Number seven, how to start running. So beginner runners are interested in that perhaps. And last but not least, number eight, building community with other runners. And I'm actually going to add a ninth. If there's something that I did not list, comment below with that. That could be one of your answers. And so what are the top two reasons you watch running videos on YouTube? Thank you for answering the question of the day down below. This is critical for the future of this channel. Your opinion matters. Your ideas matter. I appreciate you taking 30 seconds to comment below. That would be amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I'm stopping today's video. It's crazy. It's 5 p.m. and I'm not even, I'm done filming for the day. I, that hasn't happened in probably, I don't know, 900 days. No, I'm kidding. Probably in the last 30 days. So I love you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching and for subscribing and just for building this community. It's rocking. It's rocking. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow's going to be epic. Tomorrow's going to be epic. Make sure you come back. Make sure you come back. All right. Here we go.